DIY lip butter. I don't know why, but do you ever have that moment when you're just like, I need to do something, and I need to do something now. So I decided to make a DIY, and this is just a DIY lip butter. I don't know if you've seen my lip balm, and all it is is like color with some flavoring and petroleum jelly, but this lip butter is kind of like soft and actually moisturizing. So I actually try to find like the perfect lip butter, trying to add like SPF and stuff, but I never could do that. If you want to add SPF, you can just like take off a baby lips with SPF 20 and like sliver it into it. But I'd, I kind of want to keep it like mostly natural with petroleum jelly, which isn't natural, but can actually like, which can be considered a natural product, but I don't really know. So I've been trying to do the lip jelly, which was, I actually didn't post it, but I have it in this, in my phone, but a lip jelly from Chloe Couture. And I was so sad that she was hacked, but I actually try to do like imitate her style of lip butter, lip jelly, and I actually got the exact same color that she did. I got the Jordana Cosmetics, in color twofold and it was the exact same one that she used I'm not gonna be using these colors for this because I want to keep this more natural than adding like fake color and this isn't like your own product because you're adding uh, an already made cosmetic instead of using ingredients but just I'm just trying to keep this simple so I just got this Pyrex cup and a spoon some oils which are coconut oil jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, and three drops of glycerin, which will keep it shiny on your skin. And then your butters. I use mango butter, cocoa butter, and shea butter, which are probably my favorite butters. And I just used a few of each. This little container. And petroleum jelly. I think, like, I know so many people have gone through, like, so many videos, and they're all like, can you use Vaseline instead of petroleum jelly? Can you use petroleum jelly instead of Vaseline? It's like, Guys, Vaseline, Vaseline is just a name brand, but if you look at ingredients in Vaseline, pure petroleum, okay, well, what's in this? Pure petroleum, it's the exact same thing, Vaseline is just more expensive because it's a brand named, just like you could have two makeups that could be the exact same, the exact same formula, one from MAC, one from a drugstore, obviously MAC will be more expensive because it's a name brand, I trying to get complicated but it's just like thing about it so I just took a Pyrex cup and I would actually like make just a little bit less coconut oil or maybe a lot less oil and a little, just a few bits of petroleum jelly but I'm gonna be using a lot like for a bulk so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my petroleum jelly and I'm gonna do about two thick, very thick. Now if you want this to melt and kind of be softer to work with, you can actually heat up this in a double boiler without having like the things in it so that when you put this in it like melts already. So I'm going to be using actually a lot because I'm going to be using all the oil that I have in that and that's a lot. So. So I'm just like going into this, which that's a lot, but you know. So I got like this inspiration from Chloe Couture and some other people, which I can't remember the names. They're like Lisa and April, Athena, Seven, I think. I don't really know, but I'll be linking their websites down below. So then you're going to take your oil and I just like doing this like slowly so that it separates all over instead of like all by one by one. So you're just going to take the petroleum and you're just going to mix it in before you melt it. Now coconut oil is actually solid when it's like above or like below 75 degrees or something. But here it was kind of like half solid, half melted because it's summer here. So I had to just melt it a little bit so it's a little hot, which should melt the petroleum jelly a slight bit, but not too much. 
So then I have this. Kind of like weird oil petroleum mixture and there's like little lumps if you want to like make it easier to melt you can just kind of like squish it to the side of the bowl but if you want it more of a lip jelly jelly but I'm gonna be doing a lip butter so I'm gonna be adding my butter so now I just melted it and I added the butters after I, I had to melt the butters separately, and actually there's like a chunk that actually still isn't melted, but you know, just put it against the side of the jar and it should just melt on its way. So I just added a tad bit of color using pink food dye. I'm also sorry for the noise, but then I just have like this goopy mixture. This isn't much of a lip butter mixture because I use a lot of petroleum and not a lot of butter. But then I just have this tin because I'm going to be using this as more of a, like a base to my lip butters. So this is how you make like a lip butter base. And that's why there's a ton of petroleum in it. But you can also use this as just like pure lip butter. build it. So I just have that and I put it in my tin and then you're just going to close it. <laughs> 